believe that the jury gave thorough consideration uh, to each and every count. We feel that the verdict that was reached was not the appropriate verdict. We'll be uh, appealing, and uh, we, thank, we thank the jury for their consideration. We respect their verdict, but we respectfully disagree with it. Well, I've always taken the position that Muhammad is a soldier, and he took it like a soldier. He took it with pride and dignity. Uh, we will be meeting with him to discuss various issues for his appeal, but he took it calmly. He took it as one would expect a person of his background and his training. Muhammad O.J. was a soldier and that he did not participate in the bombing where innocent people lost their lives. But we still maintain that position. We think that the evidence that connects him to the commission of this crime is very thin. Uh, he was convicted under a theory of aiding and abetting. We were, we were very happy with the verdicts. We couldn't have asked for a more attentive jury, and we're just waiting for the next phase. Edith, what about you? Your father and your brother were killed in the Kenya bombing. What was going through your mind? We're also, I'm also very pleased with the verdict. Uh, today is one of bittersweetness. While the law was definitely on our side today, we know that the verdicts do not minimize the loss or the grief that our family or other families, both Kenyan, Tanzanians, and Americans suffer even to this day. And we hope that the law will continue to be on our side. Today's guilty verdicts are a triumph for world justice and for world unity in combating international terrorism. They are also a tribute to the brave men and women and their families who work abroad for the State Department, the United States military, and in our embassies around the world.